Aloha Scorpio, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your mid-February love and romance reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, leave me a comment. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand and I love engaging with you. And for a private reading or energy alignment session with me, please do just visit my website. Let's get to it. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your love and romance reading for mid-February 2021. This goes from mid-February to mid-March. All right. We're just trying to get a little Palo Santo going here, Scorpio. Gonna cleanse this up a little bit. Hold on. There we go, we got him. All right. There we go, cleanse me. Got him, let that do what it does. All right, Scorpio, so general energies um, in the collective right now. We are in Mercury retrograde till the 20th. And so there is, um, this is a time of reflection. We get three times or four times a year, Mercury retrograde. Um, time of reflection renegotiating what you want, your contracts. And then as of the new moon, there were six planets in Aquarius. If you have Aquarius placements, that's going to affect you even more um, highly. Um, but for the collective, it does mean great change, reevaluation of how we do our systems um, and um, major change to align the head with the heart. All right, let's get to it. We're going to look at your um, oracle cards first, and then we're going to get into the tarot. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's get to it. We have Smoky Quartz. There we go. The Stone of Power. Smoky Quartz is commonly used to relieve muscle cramps and spasms, as well as boost the metabolism. It is said that placing a smoky quartz under your mattress will help alleviate back pain. Used in meditation is a useful grounding stone and helpful in creating positive energy flow. It is believed to encourage energy flow through the hands. Beautiful. Wonderful, Scorpio. I feel like um, this mid-month to mid-month, you're really coming into your power. Um, you're coming into your power in love and romance you're coming into your power in your uh, general day-to-day -day life you're remembering who you are why you're here you're coming up out of the depths in order to be able to um, share with others in a compassionate way and then um, the smoky quartz is going to help to also clear any negative energy so this um, time frame if you carry smoky quartz with you that may be of great use okay so we have from whispers of love we have the practice compassion card see things from a fresh perspective okay we also have this is really cool i've never seen this card yet be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible Okay, so Spirit's asking, they're sending a really strong message for you singles to um, look at your love um, life in a new perspective. Be compassionate with yourself. Be compassionate with others who have come before. And they're asking you to move out of the past and be in the present because now is the moment of power. So your power... Um, is in the now so they're asking you to be in the present moment to look at things with compassion okay and then dream of your future everything really is possible for you for those of you that are thinking of a specific um, individual the um, you know they're saying to um, practice compassion with that with yourself and with this other individual and be here now rather than in the past because you got this card here let's see if it's gonna there we go and it says the past is now behind you release it and embrace new possibilities a new path is now available to you follow it with faith okay 
So Spirit's really saying that you have a brand new path that's opening for you. Um, they're asking you to release the past. And that um, I meant to get just one of those cards and another one popped out as I was putting the deck away. And it says romance, Cupid's arrow strikes, okay? So I feel like leaving that past behind you is going to open the door for new love and new romance at this time, okay? So um, you're going through a time right now to practice compassion and to release. And then we have from Colette Baron reed we have to be fair, okay? So they're really asking you to practice this compassion, to be fair in your judgments, to be fair and how you feel about yourself, how you feel about others, Scorpio, um, and really release that past because there's something brand new um, coming in for you. And let's look a little more deeply at that for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, spirit, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oops, there we go. Okay. I just there we go all right so we're gonna look at your recent past I said before okay we have the Empress six of wands nine of swords in the reverse and the tower okay and one more and then five of pentacles. Okay. Um, so what they're showing is in the past here is I feel like, okay, I feel like Scorpio, things have been going really well in um, your job and career. You're coming through in the past as the empress, having your stuff together, really being um, fertile ground, super creative, six of wands, um, having um, recognition, having victory, really being recognized. And I feel like for some of you, you may have gotten, the spirit's really showing around work. You really may have gotten like um, recognition and gotten exactly like um, just feeling really, really good about yourself, super creative. Okay. Um, and I feel like an event here and actually the sign of swords reverse means that 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 overcame some anxiety for you to be able to be kind of on a pedestal for a while and to really be thriving and I'm, I'm hearing the word thriving in your um, career path Scorpio I feel like it's really showing like you have done a great job in your um, career sector and it's almost like you put your identity there and there for a while there was some um, sleepless nights, but you overcame that. So you may have even gotten a new job or a promotion that helped you um, fix some things in your um, financial world. Um, but I do feel like this sense of kind of um, loneliness or um, an imbalance, almost like if you were paired up, you were focused too much on your career, Scorpio. Um, and so that part was going really well, but it's almost like you weren't looking at or you neglected your relationship. Um, or if you were single, you just weren't um, uh, looking in that direction because there was a tower moment in this five of pentacles. So I feel like some of you, Spirit saying you got knocked off your um, pedestal. Okay, so something happened that may have made you feel abandoned or this very well could have been COVID, like you had this amazing job and then it shut down because we're it's being filmed, we're about a year now into the COVID pandemic. So this past, um, when you're really focused on career and things, I feel like this tower moment, it very well could have been COVID, okay? And that um, you felt abandoned. Five of Pentacles can also be, you know, a loss of money or other things. And so I feel like that um, in this, um, this past position here, like you weren't even focused on romance really, but this tower moment almost like took you off your pedestal. It kind of like rocked your foundation a little bit. Um, and then now, okay. 
and um, it rocks your foundation a little bit. Um, but I feel like that's opening a door for you because uh, what Spirit's saying is you were out of balance. And so while you were doing amazing in one arena, the other, um, other areas were not coming up to par. Okay, in the now position, I feel like there is a, um, a little bit of being in your head, okay? And you might be being in your head about a specific person or, or events that happened in the past. Um, for some of you, I do feel like, um, for some of you, Scorpio, they're indicating divorce because you had in the past all these things going on. Um, Empress is a, a fertile, can be the mother card. Okay, and with this recognition, and um, sometimes this is a major celebration, um, this tower moment very well could have been a divorce for some of you. That's not going to resonate with everyone, but it, um, Spirit was saying that there's a few of you who that is um, what that tower moment was. And so in the now, there's um, a great deal of being in your head, but it's a prison of your own mind. Um, actually you can break free at any time and I feel like you're going to do that and what's happening is spirits asking you to get out of your head get out of thinking of the past so that the new can come in <clears throat> um, that's where your power is so you're really moving into your power at this point okay and you're now you have page of wands so there's a communication that's coming in in your now position um, passionate communication someone wants to um, talk to you in a passionate way and I feel like that this is going to come in as soon as you really let go of the past and start practicing focusing on what's here now we have the hero font I feel like this person wants to have um, this is someone who has the potential to have a high level commitment with you the hero font is the Pope card um, it can indicate marriage in a love reading so I feel like right now there is someone who's wanting to communicate with you who would really like Scorpio to have a high level commitment with you okay and we have the star card which is the card of Aquarius so that's showing me that you are in the process of um, healing yourself wishing upon a star right now and also they're saying that this person that's coming in to communicate with you that you are their wish that they have been thinking about you um, and for some of you, it may be someone who um, there's some healing that needs to occur between the two of you, and they want to reach out to ha start that healing process. For others of you, this is a new person um, that has a passionate communication. There's going to be some information. What I'm hearing is someone has a crush on you, um, but they've really been watching you, and they've been kind of a, in their head about how to come forward to talk to you, Scorpio. Um, because they're a little intimidated, <laughs> um, but they do want to come forward and they are kind of fantasizing and thinking about like, um, having a, what it would be like to be married with you, you know, let's see the future. Yeah. Okay. And perfect. So future looks really good. Um, I feel like this person that's coming in to talk with you uh, very soon, it's in the now position. Um, so I do feel like that this is like an unexpected communication that comes in, um, really soon. It's in the, it's in the right now position. Again, you're practicing being present in the now, so it's happening for you. Okay. In the very near future, we have the full card. We have seven of swords in the reverse. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune and we have the 10 of pentacles. Okay. This is really beautiful. You guys, um, I feel like you are going to take that leap. This person wants to take that leap. And, um, this is a person who's upright and true. The seven of swords, um, in the upright is kind of the thief, the cheater, the one who sort of sneaks off in the night when it's reversed it's a person who's really um overcome that they are someone who is in good standing they're honest okay um this is a person who um i feel like uh scorpio that you're going to take the leap with okay because the wheel of fortune is wheel of fortune's turning in your favor 
in multiple arenas of your life, Scorpio. So this is um, turning in your favor in your um, workplace, your money, but in your relationship as well. Okay, so this person's coming towards you quickly. And then we have Ten of Pentacles. So this is the blessed card, the happy family. There's plenty of money. There's plenty of, of everything. Okay, let's see what the now. And the now, um, you're coming across as the hermit energy, and that's okay. The hermit is basically saying that you are learning what you need to learn. You're shining your light, and look at all of those keys. You have all of the keys that you need to unlock the door of your own heart and the heart of your beloved, okay? But I do feel like there's a person coming in with passionate communication to get that old hermit up out of the mix. Yeah, so for your outcome, you have the magician. The alchemy is happening. You are manifesting this person, and this person is manifesting you, Scorpio. Um, you're their prayer, okay? You're their manifestation. They're your prayer. They're your manifestation. This is the one that you've been asking for. It's king of fire energy, okay? Whether you're male or female, this is mastery of your, um, your intellect. This is mastery of your intuition. This is a person full of passion. This is a person full of action. This person's going to come forward to you with action, and they are going to, um, they are going to uh, uplift you. They are going to move towards you with action and with confidence. Okay, so um, they're overcoming their um, little, you know, thoughts of doubt to move towards you right now. Because the last card for your outcome is the sun. The best card in the deck, okay? The sun shines after the storm. This is really beautiful, Scorpio. Um, you're coming out of hermit mode and into this relationship. And it is full of magic and passion. And let me tell you, this person's good looking. The, um, the wand suit, okay? The, the fire suit indicates that the person's very physically attractive as well. So you're going to find one another very physically attractive. Um, they're going to really, like, they're going to think that you're magic. Um, and Spirit's telling me to say that they're really going to like your body, okay? So some of you may have had body issues or some self-esteem issues in the past, Scorpio, but um, this person coming for you, they think you are so attractive and they just want to touch you physical touch with this it's very like um passionate very heated and it's a very beautiful romance that's coming in and when cupid's arrow strikes it strikes suddenly and it strikes unexpectedly so i feel like you've been kind of in a different place in uh not even really thinking about love and romance or some of you have been single a long time and sort of sworn off love and romance and Spirit saying that um, you have a lot of beauty coming in here, and this is passionate. This is steamy. Like Scorpio, you guys are all about you know sex, death, rebirth. This is that that partner that can handle. They can keep up with you, Scorpio. They can um, they can um, give you. I feel like uh, many of you watching your love language is physical touch. They're gonna give that to you. I feel like for some of you. Um, your previous partner was a little bit cold, um, uh, frigid in that way, and they didn't give you that love language, and um, that caused you, um, you know, some not to feel as loved as you could. Yeah, this magician energy, that that spiritual alchemy is happening, and the sun is shining. This is beautiful, you guys. You are taking a beautiful leap into the unknown. They said one more heart card. You guys, Spirit's been a little bit, like, long-winded on a lot of the um, videos. You guys, it's short and sweet because you're coming into the now, and it's a good now. All right? Like, all right. One more heart card, they said, for Scorpio. Okay. Oh. more okay or a bunch more which one please these okay so two more I guess all right we have 
Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, so I was feeling for most of this reading that this is for singles, but Spirit wanted to address um, those of you that are already coupled. Okay, so they're saying criticizing one another will only lead to future unhappiness. Okay, so love and accept each other as you are. Remember, forgiveness was um, the main thing here. The past is now behind you. Practice compassion. Be fair. Okay, rekindle that romance. Okay, so this um, mid-February to mid-March, those of you that are coupled, you're rekindling that romance. You are um, coming back into that love and respect with each other. The sun's shining. You're getting out of your head. Okay, those of you that are single, criticizing yourself or others or your partners or like finding something wrong with someone is like self-sabotage and they're saying to avoid that okay the next card out that was right underneath this one is twin flames your passion ignites okay so um they're saying that some of you watching this are um in a divine partnership a divine counterpart so you may have met them this might be the past energy or um some of you may be meeting them quite quite soon um and this is a very magical relationship. I feel like regardless of what stage you're in, whether you're single, um, coupled, or in separation, this is a really magical relationship, Scorpio, for those that are watching. And so um, it has um, major potential, and there is a lot of sunshine that is presenting itself. So please just be fair. Stay in the present moment. Release the past. You're not there anymore. You're here now. Okay, so be here now. Scorpio because there is great magic and great love for you here. Okay. Thank you so much. If you're still with me, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. And until next time, aloha Scorpio.